Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle and today is day two of our March fitness challenge. I am for the month of March trying to up my activity and a lot of you are doing this along with me. I am not killing it yet. I am just basically walking and doing some stretching and trying to incorporate some more of that into my daily routine. And right now I am having my first meal of the day. I have sort of an odd assortment of things that I'm eating today for my first meal. I have a boiled egg here with some Redmond salt on it. I like to keep boiled eggs in my refrigerator at all times because it's a great go-to snack or a meal. If you need something really quick, you've got them there. You can also chop them up and make a nice egg salad. And so I had that in the refrigerator already. I had a chaffle that I had already made. I make up chaffles too. I make them in a little batch and I keep them in the refrigerator as well. And I just pulled one out, threw it in my air fryer for a couple of minutes and I put some of this mascarpone espresso cheese on it. This is um, what it looks like right here. This is zero carb and is really, really good on the chaffles. Then instead of bacon, I am having some carnivore crisps on the side as my meat, my protein. These brisket strips are delicious. They are just dried meat with some Redmond salt on them. They are very good, they are very healthy, and they are a great snack to have on hand. It is supposed to be close to 50 degrees today, which is exciting because I see spring on the horizon. And so I am going to be taking a walk in the afternoon. I'm gonna wait for it to warm up just a little bit more. And hopefully the sun comes out and I can soak in some of the vitamin D while I'm out walking. But I am going to be doing that this afternoon. I will let you know how long I walk and when I walk and I'll see you in a little bit. 1.30, I'm grabbing a quick snack. I have a Too Good lemon yogurt here. This is a really good yogurt. I really like the lemon, especially as the weather is getting nicer out. It's just refreshing. And so I'm gonna have this yogurt. I'm heading out the door in just a few minutes to go to a client of mine. Um, I've been doing her hair for more than 20 years now and she is elderly and just can't get out of her house right now. So I'm going to go over there and get her hair done. And then when I get back, I am gonna work on dinner and I will show you what we are having for dinner tonight. It's gonna to be a great meal. So I will see you in just a little bit. So I'm out walking. It is gorgeous today. The sun is shining and it is around 50 degrees and it's really great. It's kind of unusual for Michigan weather. I've had people ask me, where's all our snow at? And we've just had some warmer temps. And so we live in the lower part of Michigan in the Southern part, close, kind of close to Detroit area. And we are actually gonna be going up north this weekend. And the last we checked, there was quite a bit of snow up there. So it'll be a big change from this if we go up there and there's a lot of snow, but I won't be able to no, for sure until we get up there. So I am right now walking the dog and I am enjoying this walk, so is she. When I get back, Ed will be home from work and we're gonna make some dinner and I will show you what we're gonna be having for dinner. So I just wanna encourage you, if you haven't started moving yet, get up and move. If you even walk for 10 to 15 minutes, a few people have told me that their weather just isn't getting it right now. So they are doing walking on like YouTube. There's some walking and low impact exercises that you can do on YouTube. So there's different things that you can do. So just get up and move. So I'm gonna finish the walk and then I'll see you when I get back. Hi, hey baby. <laughs> she loves going for walks. So tonight we are having surf and turf for dinner. Yeah. And Ed is going to try out the air fryers on our new Blackstone. And so we have some shrimp here that we just thawed out. And this is some tartar sauce that I am making for Ed for the shrimp. Mayonnaise, some dill relish, and some Old Bay seasoning. And I just stir those together. And he has a nice tartar sauce to dip his shrimp in. So we're going to bread the shrimp the same way we did the chicken tenders the other night. We are gonna be using porking good pork 
rind crumbs. This is the Cajun style. We used about a half a cup of this and a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, mixed them together, and I forgot to get egg. I have to get some egg, and we're just gonna dip the shrimp into the egg and then into the crumb mixture, and then we're gonna put them in the air fryer. And then we have a couple of steaks over here that I am going to open up and get seasoned and get those on the, on the griddle as well. And so I'm gonna get some things going here and then I will check in in just a minute. This is the little air fryer basket that goes in the griddle. And I'm going to just dip these um, shrimp. These are the deveined tail off extra large shrimp from Sam's Club. And dip it in the egg and then put it in the crumb mixture, just like that. And then I'm gonna lay them right in the basket. And I'm gonna do all of these like that. This is what it looks like, and I can't wait to try it. So these are New York steaks that I cut myself. I, bu I bought a big slab, and I did a video on that. Can you open that for me? And I'm going to, Ed's gonna throw these on the griddle. I'm gonna season them right now with the Redmond's Wasatch steak seasoning. I think I'm saying that right. And then we're gonna put these on the griddle and see how they come out. Baked on the griddle. I hope these have like the crust like the hamburgers. Yeah. yeah. The hamburgers were delicious on here. Alright, so and then the um the shrimp are going down in the air fryer here. Wow, okay, cool. 5 30, I'm getting ready to eat. Ed is out there right now working on his shrimp, and when his comes in, when he brings it in, I'll show you what his dinner looks like. I'm just having a strip steak with some herb butter on top. And this is the broccoli salad that I made yesterday. We have just enough left over for both of us to have a nice big scoop of it. So that's what I'm having. And when he gets in here, I'll show you what he's having. So I'll be back. This is my dinner. Looks good, can't wait, bye. So we're gonna have some dessert tonight. I have some vanilla ice cream that I had in the freezer. I have shown my ice cream recipe. It is delicious and it is made with allulose. Allulose keeps the ice cream soft. I'm gonna show you right here. I just pulled this out of the freezer and it's a glass container with a silicone or whatever lid this is. So normally when you make ice cream with other sweeteners, it is rock hard and you have to let it sit out and let it thaw out before you scoop it. I wanna show you how soft this ice cream is. I just took it out of the freezer. And so I am going to show you here. Look at that, look at that. This scoops out so good. Just pulled this out of the freezer. So I am gonna have a couple of scoops of this ice cream and I'm sure Ed, he's working on his dinner right now. I'm sure he's gonna be having some too. Look at this ice cream. It is delicious. I will link my recipe for my ice cream down in the description. It's also over on my, over on my website at lowcarbrevelation.com. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my video for tonight. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Have a great night and God bless.